So everybody knows how to run, you know, a program which is commonly on the Windows platform referred to as an EXE. And what we have is a, uh, a, an application, something that we can launch that instructs the computer to do something. So the EXE gets loaded into the operating system and it does something. The whole idea of programming, all programming is, is it's the concept of taking a, a language such as C-sharp and turning it into something that can be loaded into the operating system via some sort of executable. So what we need to do is we need to write our code, um, which can be in a variety of different languages. You know, we have uh, C Sharp, which is obviously what we're talking about today. We have C, C++. We have stuff like uh, JavaScript, which isn't necessarily loaded into an executable, but I don't really want to go too much into that. Um, other things like uh, Ruby and so on. And so the idea is, is that all of these are different ways of expressing logic. And at the end of the day, that is the most important thing that I want people to understand is that, that's a big L, is, uh, is logic. The idea is, is that what we do is we take a concept, an abstract concept of what we want the computer to do, and we express it in a language that is then translated into a language that the computer understands. So we take C Sharp, C, C++, JavaScript, Ruby, or whatever, we run it through something, depending on the language, and we get something that gets loaded into an environment such as the operating system. It could be an executable, it could be anything else. So the differences between programming languages is really just the way that we express logic to the computer. So C Sharp gives you a particular set of what's called syntax, which is a very important word to understand. Um, syntax is the way that we write in a particular language. Like if you were to speak in English, your, the syntax of your statement would define the rules that you'd be constrained under. And what we need to do is we need to express in whatever language that we want our logic that we want the computer to do, and then we put it somewhere where the computer understands it. Now, C Sharp, let me go ahead and get rid of this. Each one of these different languages has a different way that they are eventually expressed into the computer and that's something that I think that is important for people to understand. The whole point is we take logic, we turn it into a language um, that we understand as humans and then we put it somewhere where the computer understands. C Sharp gets compiled into um, .NET assemblies. C++ gets compiled into um, executables. JavaScript runs in your uh, web browser. And Ruby runs in a what's called a VM, virtual machine, that runs uh, that Ruby code dynamically. So the differences between different languages is really what context that they run under and how you express logic for that language. Now we're going to be mainly focusing on C Sharp. We're not going to be doing C, C++, JavaScript, or Ruby, but it's important to kind of understand what exactly it is you're learning. The great thing about C Sharp is that we have this .NET, which I'll talk about in a moment, but we also have a variety of other places where we can run our C Sharp code. 